Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fun mixed media layout, but as you can probably tell from the title, this isn't going to be the best mixed media layout I've ever made. It actually, as you can see right now, I'm just using a bunch of paint to make a background, and this goes horribly wrong. It turns out so bad, and it's not what I wanted for this picture, so I end up just moving this aside for maybe a later layout, but I end up doing something completely different later. So I'm going to show you how I did all this wonderful stuff and then not use it. So I'm just going to use these fun purple and green paints and if you're wondering how I picked out these two paint colors, the purples and the greens, it's from my photo on the left there. You can barely see it but it's my cat. And she's out in the garden next to our hydrangea bush. She looks really cute and so I got all these color inspirations from that photo. So I wanted to do that fun like background that I've been seeing other people do where they just like spread all the colors around and look great together but they usually don't do that with paint they do it with like gelatos or something that melds more easily than acrylic paints do because that's what I tried using. And I normally don't do my backgrounds with acrylic paints. Um, I like or at least try to mix backgrounds with acrylic paints but I tried it on this one it didn't work out. I'm using my extra paint in this fun little journal I have just so it doesn't go to waste and dry up. But we'll see how this wonderful thing turns out later whenever I do this art journal page. So we're back to the layout and I decided I wanted to use a stencil but I'm not sure which one yet. Oh, I decide on some. This one's by Teresa Collins and it's a honeycomb pattern. I'm really bad at doing stencils like why is there it's so bad. But then I also decided I wanted to use glitter, and glitter's just not good. It really isn't. It's like the devil. Because I end up choosing a chunky glitter, which could have been fine if I, it just looks so bad. It looks bad right now, but I just keep going. I keep adding other things. Oh, and then I think I can actually mix glitter with my white <laughs> modeling paste and things. I think that's going to work out, but it doesn't. Why would it? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it kind of looks good from a distance if you squint really hard and then... <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. But he's just laying over there sleeping. So I'm going to use my stencil and glitter again because I didn't have enough in the first place. I feel like this would have looked a lot better if I used one a, a very fine glitter. It would have looked a lot better. And if I didn't do so much, everything's just crazy looking to me. I don't know why. I should have stopped way earlier than I did for this video. But then I filmed it all, so I wanted to show you guys what I made. So, adding some gold Heidi shine because can't get enough of that stuff. So, using my heating, my embossing, what is this called? Heat gun? I don't know what it's called. My heat gun to dry my mess here because right now I'm just trying to buy time so I can think of what I'm actually going to do for this layout because this looks atrocious. But I end up keep going. I'm still going on this. I don't know how. It's probably been, I don't know how, I think I fast forward this video like four times speed. So this has been, it hasn't been too long, but I paused it a lot in between too. So I saved myself some time there. But I'm going to back my photo with some Fun basic gray papers. This is from their Wisteria collection. This paper pad is so old to me. <laughs> I got it when I went to Canada in when I was a lot younger. Probably at least six years, nope, five years ago. It's quite old. Really pretty papers though. Purples, blues, gold. And then this darn tissue paper gives me such a hard time. Because I like the tissue paper look. A lot of people use it now. But I'm going to mat all my papers and then I'm going to figure out that I hate the way this looks and after my glue explodes now I'm just going to stop and start anew with a few, sorry that's my dog, with a new background and such which you'll see in just a moment. Okay, so now I'm going to start with this beautiful purple polka dot paper and some craft cardstock. 
And as you can see, I have this giant bin of felt shapes, and they're all from Oriental Trading. And I'm also playing with this beautiful wood veneer laser cut piece. And the laser cut piece is from Michaels, and the felt pieces are from Oriental Trading, like I said. And I bought these probably so many years ago, I mean, I can't remember. And the polka dot paper, if I didn't say, is from Target. It's from the Valentine's Day stack that they had a while back. So you can see that I kept the layers behind my photo that I originally had. And now I'm using more mixed media because clearly I wasn't sick of it yet. And this cute Heidi Swap dot stencil. And I really don't like my placement of it when I first do it here. Because I do it in three spots. And it doesn't look good when I'm done. So I end up flipping around the craft card stock so it um, looks a little bit better. But that's besides the point. So I'm just going to dry that really quick, and then I also, well there's not much else I do to the layout because I already have my photo matted and ready to go. I just have to paste it all down in spots that I want it. But I will add all of those felt pieces I pulled out mostly. I use a lot of the flowers up. And then of course I have to use some tiny word stickers from Tim Holtz. And I only have his spring edition, or not the spring edition, the holiday edition of the different tiny word stickers so all I have is like holiday themed ones so luckily there's some spring ones in there but I'll just be gluing everything down and you saw me just place it all there so that's pretty much it I'll add the fi final touches like the tiny word stickers like I mentioned and the felt pieces and the gemstones I'll be adding as well because I really like how the um I don't have any enamel dots really. I never have had any enamel dots. I don't know why. I just, I never have had any of them. I have a lot of the gems and the pearls, but never enamel dots. But you live and you learn. Gotta buy some of those. So this is pretty much it for this layout. I'll have close ups down at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have uh, plenty of more details about the disaster and um, on the layout over on my blogs. So thanks for stopping by.